today I finally got what I was most looking forward to. It's the aluminum roof rack. And that's probably the most exciting part of the build for me. There's a couple of problems. So these are all the parts of the roof rack and I have to assemble it today. I did some minor modifications. Um, these boards that you see are a bit shorter. I cut them so they're gonna fit around the roof fan. So my rack is slowly coming together. And here is the little adjustment that I did. I cut those su horizontal supports and bought two extruded aluminum poles that I'm gonna screw in place now. I made new holes and then I put the washers in this aluminum profile and I'm gonna screw the aluminum profile to these supports. I'm sitting on my favorite spot again on the rooftop of my van and today I'll be installing the roof rails for that I'll need the heat gun, flat screwdriver and something to wipe off the heated up glue. There are little white plugs, so I need to heat up so the glue starts melting. Broke this thing, I guess I can just put it inside and I need to remove this glue. As the first one is removed, it's like eight holes on each side of the rooftop. So I'll have to remove all 16 of them. I'm gonna cut little strips of butyl tape over the holes to make sure everything's watertight. That should do. The whole process is pretty straightforward. I need to get the rails up on the roof. They have screws and there are actually two pieces fit together pretty easily. All these screws on the rail align with the holes on the roof. That was not hard actually. So the, the rails are in. And let's do this side as well. Let's go inside the van now. Just gonna make sure it's tight. Okay, so the rails are mounted. Yeah. mounting the solar panels so on my rooftop I already have the roof rack and I made these like brackets on one, one side I'll use this bracket that folds and then on the other side the solar panel will be held by this angle bracket you'll be able to tilt the panels like up so they catch more sun under like 30 or 45 degree angle. Uh, there is a couple of problems, like always. When we mounted the, the roof rack, check out this beauty. It's such a cool rack, I love it. But, of course, I did a little mistake and the roof rack didn't come as far backwards as I thought it would. It's a bit more forward and that gives us less space here 
to mount the solar panels. So as you can see, this rail where I'll be mounting the panel is quite short on the front and the solar panels will basically go all the way here and the last bracket can sit here okay so basically this part of the solar panel is gonna sit in the air which is not really good and then the next thing that was an issue is I thought I'm gonna put these angles like here but in fact the roof is lifted on this part so I can't really fit this angle here so I had to come up with a solution I made this uh, to put under the angle and now they sit high enough so I can actually mount the, the brackets on this side this is the solar panel that I'll be mounting actually there are two of those and each of them is 170 what? The way I'm going to mount this is by using this angle, a screw that goes in. I'm using these two plates to keep the distance. And then there's going to be one nut that's going to slide in the roof rail. And that's what's going to hold the whole panel in. <laughs> Okay, the solar panels are mounted. That's it. And this is how my roof panels look like. I love it. I wanted to show you this as well. This side of the rack, I use these screws that you can unscrew and then lift the panels up. 